Because of his inclination to write cause and development oriented songs to raise social awareness, Joey Ayala, with his indigenous musical accompaniments, has staged many of his performances on rally protests organized by different students and non student and non-government organizations. Tonight, Ayala shares his past and inspiration to become one of the eminent alternative musicians we have in the country today. Here's Ria Fernandez. It was in the 90s when alternative musician Joey Ayala successfully penetrated the local mainstream music scene. His songs combine Western and indigenous music traditions, creating a distinct sound we Pinoys can proudly call our own. His Magkabilaan album, commercially released in 1991, included his hit song Walang Hanggang Paalam, a hymn he wrote for the assassinated Senator Ninoy Aquino. Growing up in an artistic family, music and writing came naturally to him. Thus, for a while, he earned a living as a journalist. But while on a bombing incident coverage in Davao, he had to rethink his calling. I the features writer sa isang local magazine, San Pedro Express. Tapos nung na-assign ako, naging hard news, nag-convert siya from features to hard news. Di ko, may experience ako doon as a journal, a regular hard news reporter that changed the way I thought. Uh, may sumabog na Granada. Mar Martial law times to, may sumabog na Granada. Tapos interviewing ko yung survivor. Di ko kaya. Di ko kaya yung mag-interview ng umiiyak, punta ka ng hospital, interview mo yung may sugat. Feeling ko, nangihimasok ako. Parang, ay, ayoko ang trabaho to. Because of the dreadful event, he wrote a song entitled Bankerohan as a memento of the bombing incident at Bankerohan Market in Davao City. Ikaw ba'y nagtataka sa aking mga kilos? Parati na sa bahay, di na nagpapakita, di na nagtitipar, o nanunod ng sine, etc. Alam siya, narrative lang siya. Ano nangyari sa akin? Na, I, I value my life. Huwag na kayong ano, hindi magandang biro yung papasabog yung granada. Mm -hmm. It's medyo ironic. Uh, while he continued to write cause and development oriented songs to raise social awareness, he was conscious of his responsibility to his audience. Pag merong kanta na may laman na negatibo, nakakasira siya dun sa... Maganda siyang uh, memento of something that should not be forgotten, but to repeat it out of context or as uh, lightly, uh, on the next part of this episode, Ayala bears more about his choice of music and plays some of his indigenous musical accompaniments. Di ba tayo'y narito upang maging malaya at upang palayain ang iba? Ako'y walang hinihiling, ika'y tila gandin sadyay, palayain ang isa't isa. Ang pag-ibig natin ay walang hanggang paalam at habang magkalayo. All these and more only here at the best and the brightest. For the People's Television, this is Ria Fernandez.